Hey guys, Lightane here, and welcome to Tarzan and June Month, where I have been looking at everything Tarzan related. Today I'm going to be looking at a portable game called Tarzan Return to the Jungle and seeing if it's worth it. Tarzan and June. Disney's Tarzan Return to the Jungle was released in 2002 and made by Digital Eclipse. This is the same developer as the Game Boy Tarzan game, so let's see how they've improved. Oh god, we have to collect bananas! <laughs> First off, there's a story here. Based around the movie and the TV series, you start as young Tarzan looking for adventure and getting lost. Afterwards, Turk falls into a river and you have to save her. Wait a minute, another Tarzan game that came out the same time did this. That's really odd. Anyway, you two age up really quickly, discover humans, minus Clayton, and become fast friends. From there, you search out the ruins of Opar, shipwrecks, and Pellucida. You know, places from the show. This is an action platformer, but the goal of every level is just to find the exit. To get there, Tarzan can walk, run, jump, climb, and swing, exactly like the Game Boy game. But we now have two new buttons. The first shows the level stats, and the other... Wow, we have an attack! As a kid Tarzan, you can throw an infinite number of boomerangs, and as an adult, you'll have a limited amount of spears and cartwheels if you are running. The ability to attack and kill enemies is fantastic. It's a little hard to aim, for sure, but it's so much better than nothing. But moving around the levels are harder. Tarzan is a lot more slippery, and later levels pose a challenge landing on the smaller platforms. This one part in particular was very frustrating. But stranger than that is the turning. When you press the opposite direction, Tarzan stops in place. There's no fluidity in his motion. So when you're jumping in a zigzag manner, like in that frustrating part, you have to stop and wait to turn and then jump. If you try to do it too fast, your jump won't register and you'll fall off. It's really frustrating and took some getting used to. When I booted up the game and finished the tutorial, I swung on some vines and it's then that I realized that this game was made by the same people. Same good animation for the swinging. In fact, the whole game looks really good. Lots of color and art and each area looks very different. Visual clues on what you can climb, the characters look better, and the animation is just fluid overall. The presentation here is top notch. I think Digital Eclipse listened to the feedback with the Game Boy game, making the levels larger, giving Tarzan an attack, and most importantly, the bananas are optional. They're just a regular old collectible now, and getting them will increase your score. It, it does nothing but maybe bragging rights? I don't know, who cares about a score? But getting 100 is a life, and collecting all of them in a stage gets you an extra life as well. These help point out the optional parts, or even just the way. It is so much better than the Game Boy game. That being said, the majority of these levels will still play the same. Explore the level to find the end. You know if you are heading the right way if you find a checkpoint. And because of that, the game is not very hard at all. Being able to kill things helps so much. I still died quite a bit to these stupid bats and a few other little things, but I didn't find the game challenging. It is aimed for a younger audience though, so that's probably why it's a little bit on the easier side, so I can't complain. There is also a variety within the levels that you'll be seeing. We have exploration, running against a clock, collecting monkeys, running from dinosaurs even, and a minecart level. Oh, we also get to swim. But look at that swimming animation. It's just it's just not as good, not as mesmerizing. But as a kid, when you catch your breath, it looks hilarious. I love that face that he pulls. It really makes me laugh. Before and after each level, we get these story segments, and they are a little odd with their sentence structure, but a great addition to the game. And you can tell who's talking by the sprite animation. I mean, when I talk, a gust of wind also blows my skirt around frantically and stops as soon as I shut up. <laughs> they also make no real sense, like Porter, who just got to the jungle, has a friend who knows all about Opar and its queen and tells Tarzan, the person that lives there, the history. And there's smugglers trying to steal dinosaur eggs, so you go and steal them first, which prevents them from stealing it, so they all just leave. 
I don't get it, but it's the story, whatever. One part made me laugh a lot. You enter a mine, do that cart level, and explore the shaft and get to the end, where you find Jane, Porter, and Turk already there. Tarzan goes, how did you get here? Oh, we followed you. I didn't see you. It's dark in these caves. Like, it's so absurd and it's so silly, but it made me laugh. Also, after completing a few of the stages, you unlock a little clip from the TV show. It's highly compressed and it doesn't look or sound good at all, but... You know, it's, it's there. In my opinion, Disney's Tarzan Return to the Jungle is not worth it for being a very basic platformer. The controls take some getting used to, especially that turning, and the game is very short, being about two to three hours long. Also, I hope you really like this song because you'll be hearing it for 90% of the game. I don't know why they didn't use more tracks more often. I also don't know why Digital Eclipse took out other playable characters in this game. You only play as Tarzan. But I am glad they made collecting the bananas optional and while I did try and get them all in the first couple of levels by the end of like level three I was like eh screw this I'm just going to get to the end of the level because I didn't care as much as about finding them all especially when you don't get anything for collecting them aside from score and like I said who cares about a score if you really like Tarzan and platformers maybe give it a shot or if you have somebody that's a little bit younger maybe you can give it to them otherwise it's good to avoid this one so guys tell me what you thought about Tarzan for the Game Boy Advance. Did you like it? Did you hate it? Did you find it a little difficult or was it too easy for you? I'm also pretty sure I've covered every single Tarzan game on this channel now, except for one, but that's a whole different thing. Uh, and so if I have missed any, please let me know and I'll play it and do a review on it. Until then, I hope you've enjoyed this. Don't forget to like and subscribe, comment down below, all that jazz, and I'll see you next time. Bye!